Away from that, there was a helicopter crash on Friday in Lagos, which left uh, some people dead. Plus TV Africa's Mer uh, correspondent Merichinda reports that a privately operated helicopter crashed at a residence in Ikeja in Lagos. Number 16 Salvation Road, Webby Ikeja. The remains of the ill-fated helicopter, which at exactly 12.17 p.m., crashed into the residence of this 73-year-old Yemisi Oluoli. I was not in. All of us had just gone out, nobody in the house. And where we went, they just called us. We just reached there when they said, in fact, we would have come home straight and met the thing. Men of the Lagos State Emergency Management Agency, Amnema, and the Nigerian police make frantic efforts to rescue the three passengers on board of the aircraft. However, two die, with only one survivor rushed to the intensive care unit of the Lagos State University Teaching Hospital. We recovered two bodies, and if you look at um, the impact, it was due to the impact effect on these people and um, their bodies were deposited uh, in the mortuary. Type is um, Bell 206B and um, time of notification we got information about 1250 and we, we got here a bit late anyway and then it is on um, the owner is Quadrum Aviation. Quadrum Aviation, that's all we know for now. Gradually, the remains of the helicopter is evacuated from the scene, the brain box recovered and is taken away for further investigations. A few minutes to the crash before we received the, something, we contacted the, the tarmac. They, they confirmed that they lost control. I mean, they lost contact with the pilot. Uh, barely a few minutes later, we, we were able to... So the black box will reveal the details of the communication and the nature of uh, uh, causes. And here again, Yemsi Oluwali, the elderly woman who owns the house, is still in visible shock after the incident. And so the whole wall here is already broken. Some roof broken, cars crushed and so many damages but that is not all since we ourselves are not damaged and all the eyewitnesses recount the helicopter crash i could um, view the helicopter coming from a distance so the pilot was tried himself tried his best but at the spot he was unable to control it further then the thing stopped and it fell down as evacuation intensifies, the government assures Lagosians of their safety despite the crash. We appeal to the people of Lagos State to remain calm, cool and collected. And it's four hours after the helicopter crash right here at this residence. Things are beginning to pick up and return to normal on this Salvation Road. But as the hours tick into the night, the common emotion here for residents is that of fear. From the helicopter crash scene right here in Lagos, Nigeria, Mary Chinda reporting for Plus TV Africa. Mm, Mary, thank you for that earlier report. And still on that matter, the Accident Investigation Bureau on Friday confirmed the death of a third person from the helicopter crash in Lagos. The Lagos State Emergency Agency had earlier confirmed that two persons died in the accident. Lasema Chief Femi Osaintolu said the third victim had been rushed to the Lagos State Teaching Hospital for treatment. A spokesperson for the AIB, Tunji Oketumbi, confirmed that the victim failed to, didn't recover from injuries sustained and died later on Friday. All three victims were on board the helicopter before it crashed. No one on ground was hurt, according to Lasema officials. The helicopter, a Bell 206 with registration number 5NBQW, belonged to Quorum Aviation. It was traveling in from Port Harcourt, the River State capital, with two crew members and a passenger before it crashed into a residential building in the Okwebi area of Lagos on Friday. Joining us now via Zoom is Tunji Oketumbi, who is the General Manager, Public Affairs Accident Investigation Bureau. Good to have you, sir. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. 
Thank you for being with us this morning. Quite an unfortunate incident yesterday. Uh, apart from the black bus being found, what other information is available? Uh, what more do you know? Uh, right now, investigation is still ongoing. Um, when we have a preliminary report, we have uh, uh, factual information about the occurrence. Uh, just like you said, uh, we lost the person uh, yesterday. So um, in all, we have uh, three fatalities in that uh, occurrence. Um, our investigators will be looking into all the materials uh, needed uh, for understanding the background of that um, occurrence. They will be looking at um, uh, the, the, the maintenance logs, uh, the, so know the maintenance history of that aircraft, mm -hmm. looking at the background of the pilots and their occupancy, their competency, and all that will be um, examined. The safety culture of that company will also be taken into consideration and will be looked into. And so um, right now, I also like to say that um, that equipment was not equipped uh, with a, that they, 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 it's now we keep equipped with a, what to call black box flight recorders. Uh, so um, we will be examining the wreckage has been transferred to our office, uh, courtesy of Lasema, mm -hmm. and we will be for will further uh, you know look at those uh, uh, parts, the components for us to be able to have an idea of uh, uh, what happened how it happened and why it happened. Mm -hmm. I'm just wondering, uh, with what you said, do we have an idea when we should expect the pre uh, preliminary investigation report from your end to be out? Any idea? Well, preliminary investigation will come out very soon, probably in a month or so. Um, we should be able to have a preliminary, uh, well, this, the investigation is a the final report. Um, will take more time, will take more mm -hmm. time, depending on what we encounter during the um, uh, investigation. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, for now, uh, it's very difficult for me to put a finger on when the final report will be out. But um, going by the, uh, the culture of AIB right now, uh, I see it coming out in probably six months. In six you know, months? But depending on uh, what we encounter, uh, and if it's not the, the global rate is actually 18 months, okay. but we hope to deliver within a year. So, if there is no um, complex issue that can requires uh, more time, we should be able to come up with that uh, with the final report uh, within a year. All right. I mean, looking at it holistically or generally, we'll say that there have been scarce air crashes of late in Nigeria. I mean, great job that you are doing. However, how do we achieve zero or very low number of crashes? I mean, maybe is it even possible to achieve uh, zero crashes? Yeah, just shortly before that crash, Nigeria uh, enjoyed uh, the rating as one of the safest um, country in the world in terms of um, air transportation. Uh, because for the past uh, five years, we have not had any fatality from um, air transportation for about five years now. And uh, that is impressive. I mean, going by global um, rate of accidents and things like that. Uh, but unfortunately, we had this. And um, that means we still have to continue, you know, to improve on what you have been doing, yeah. what you have been doing to uh, get us to that point where uh, we had no fatality for about five years. Uh, we still continue to do it. However, let me say that uh, there is no, there is uh, no uh, environment where you have uh, zero accident, but that's what we aspire, mm -hmm. which we aspire. We want to have a situation where there's no accident at all. However, all of that to happen um, once in a while, maybe 
outside uh, the control of the agencies uh, responsible for ensuring safety and uh, all other uh, people that are associated with that. However, uh, we will continue to ensure that we have a zero accident. All the regulatory body, the investigation body, and the airlines, and all other people that are associated with the uh, flight operations, uh, work day and night to ensure that uh, there is no uh, accident. However, um, it's unfortunate we have had a destruction and a dent on that record. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, and if we stay on helicopter crashes a bit more, I'm just wondering, um, what are the recommendations on scrutinizing pilots who, you know, fly these choppers? Are there measures and what will be the recommendations? Do well, we I know that um, after investigating an accident like this or any serious um, incident, we normally come up with uh, safety recommendations. Uh, safety recommendations normally come uh, after um, an investigation. When the report is out, it will normally come with uh, uh, safety recommendations to the regulatory body to address to the airline, particular airline, and generally to the weather, um, I mean, to all other airlines too. So, or to the manufacturer of the aircraft. So that's why we don't know exactly what's on right now. So, we cannot say, we cannot blame the client pilot for now, you know. And uh, in any case, our investigation is not to apportion blame, it is to uh, identify the circumstances leading to an occurrence and then um, make the recommendations that can prevent uh, future recurrence of similar events. Uh, but I can tell you, uh, pilots are being put under um, serious uh, oversight by the Nigerian Civil Aviation Authority. However, we may not know what has happened for now, but we definitely know what has happened. And uh, if there are lapses here and there, our responsibility as an investigation uh, body is to make safety accidents happen when there is a link, I mean, when there is a break in the, uh, in the chain. So, uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry, my Our job is to identify that break and then rec make recommendations as to um, the purpose of our investigation actually to improve aviation safety. So I'm, I'm sure we'll come up with that okay. at the end of the day. All right. Thank you so very much, Tunji, for your time and for your contributions. And thank you for the good work you're doing and keep safe out there as well. President Mohamed Buhari on Friday commiserated with friends and relatives of victims of the helicopter crash in the Okpebi area of Lagos State. In a two-paragraph statement by his special advisor, media and publicity, Femi Adishino, the president prayed to God to console the bereaved and heal the injured. He said, while the nation awaits the reports of investigations into the accident by aviation regulatory agencies, he prayed God grant peace to the souls of the dead and speedy recovery for the injured. And the breakfast continues shortly after this break. Stay with us.